Hey guys, we're here with another video for the um, Simple Kid Art, hashtag Simple Kid Art, hashtag Kid Friendly Art uh, playlist that we're doing right now. We're all stuck inside and doing what we need to to keep other people from being sick. And in the meantime, that doesn't mean we have to just be bored and have nothing to do. So this video is intended for children and I may at times during the video and, and prior videos say, you know, make sure you get mom and dad's permission, make sure you're not using things that um, you shouldn't be, uh, make sure you do your schoolwork first, right? Help mom and dad with the chores by your home. Those are all things you can do to keep busy besides art, but art is a great tool too. So um, if you haven't watched the other videos before this, you might want to. The first one we made some little um, embellishments and then we made a little card that we can send to friends or we can send to people who are sick in the hospital or something like that. And then um, we also made a sketchbook. We've done a journal page. We've done different things. So one of the things I did today was I took all of our drawing tools and things that we've been making. I had this old like planner and pencil bag. This was in my closet already. Maybe you don't have anything like this, but maybe you just have a bag, a pencil bag that you can put all your little drawing stuff in and you can use it, then you can have it and you can carry it around with you. You can use it in your bedroom, you can use it in the living room while you're sitting with your family watching TV at night. Um, you can use it in the backyard, making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to and maintaining um, a social distance, staying at home, staying six feet from people. If you don't know what that is, talk to mom and dad. Um, anyway, you can take this anywhere with you. You can, when things get better, uh, put it in your um, backpack and you can draw at recess. Um, you can take it to the park and sit and draw it on the grass out in the French, fresh sunshine. That would be great. Um, so anyway, so I put I had this little planner and this pencil pouch, so I put all the markers and the crayons that we're going to use in here. And I put some of our tools in here. I put our scrap pieces of paper and the card that we made in here. I put my pencils in the little pouch here. These are the little embellishments that we made. This already had some paper in it. So you definitely could use this paper to do some of the work on like we were doing in the journal page in the um, art journaling video. And then in the back, I tucked my daily drawing book in the back. So we're gonna take our daily drawing book today and our pen. And today, what is our word today? Today our word is face. So we're going to flip the page and draw a face. We'll take our little piece of cardboard and tuck it in here and then turn our page and we're gonna draw a face. Now remember when we did our face before, <clears throat> one of the faces we did, we did a couple different faces. We did one in pencil, right? And we did this one where we didn't lift up the pen. So let's do another one like this because they're just, they're a lot of fun. They're messy, they're imperfect. They don't have to be perfect. Let me get a chair. All right. So we're gonna take our pen, just a, a ballpoint pen, the one that we've already been using, whatever that one that is. You could definitely do this in pencil or marker if you want to. And I am going to just put my pen down on the paper and then I'm gonna to start to draw a face. First, I'm gonna draw the shape of the face. And I'm gonna come back over here where I want the eyebrows to be. And then the first eyeball underneath that. And then the colored part of the eye is called the iris, right? And then the pupil is the black part. And we're gonna come around. We're gonna do our second eyebrow and our second eyeball with the iris and the pupil. And we're gonna go back up to one of the eyebrows. I'm gonna use this one for now. I'm gonna draw a nose. Right, and then there we go. Then while I'm at the nose, I lifted my pen up. Did you see that? Oops. Okay, I'll put it back up where I started. Um, I'm gonna go down to the lips. And then 
hand down to here. I'm going to put it here and come over here, put another ear, and then let's just put some hair. Crazy hair. Let's do crazy hair, right? Who doesn't like crazy hair? And then we'll put a neck. You don't really want to ever do a floating head, okay? And we did a face. So we're going to put the pen away. And let's add just a little bit of color. I have a pink colored pencil for the lips. I'm going to grab a blue one. I have a light blue and a dark blue. So let's grab the, oh no, that's sorry. That's not dark blue. That's gray. Um, let's just use the light blue for now. And do the eyes. And then I'm going to just add some shadow with the blue because blue is one of our shadow colors, right? We talked about that in one of the last videos. The yellow is a, a highlight color, so it's a light, bright color, and the paper is yellow. So we're going to just put the blue where we want things to be darker. And make the face look a little less flat. Just like that. And you know what's the one thing I forgot? I forgot to put the word at the bottom. I was so happy about doing a face. So there we go. There's our drawing for the day. So I want you guys to do your drawing of your face. Now maybe you're saying, I can't do a face like that. That's okay, just do a smiley face. Any kind of face, there's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's only your way. So draw a face today, get yourself a little drawing kit together. If all you have is a Ziploc bag, that works. And then you have all your tools in one place and wherever you are when you want to draw, you can just grab that bag and you can go at it, right? All right, that's it for today. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to mind mom and dad and do what you need to. And above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.